Hello, how are you? I hope you find good. Okay, so today we have a new grammar lesson. Okay, well, firstly, let me share my screen. Yes, I think now you can share my screen. Exactly. So let's start. <clears throat> yeah, today we have a lesson talking about the pronouns, okay, and specifically it's personal pronouns, okay. So here, this is personal pronouns. We have three kinds of personal pronouns. The first one is called nominative, nominative, second one, objective, and third one, possessive, okay. Of course, you know that's mean nominative, that's mean personal, that's an I, he, she, et, we use of course, we know in the basics. And the object, okay, that's in me, your, here, or her, him, it. Here is the object comes after the verb, and the nominative comes before the verb, okay? And of course, here in the possessive, you know that's in my car, there is a difference between my car, and this car is mine. Here is a difference, okay? So, <clears throat> The most important thing we have to know that's in the structure of the sentence. So it started with just a minute. We can write here start subject plus verb plus object. Okay, so here is in the subject and the verb is an object. So we have to start with the nominative. This in subject here, this in I, he, she, it, we, you, they, and the verb, okay. And after the verb is comes the objective. Objective, okay. Here is we can say me, you, her, him, at, us, you, them. Okay, this number one. Number two here, try to look at the example. That's in Ricardo and she are talking. Before here, where is the verb? Where is the verb in the sentence? Are talking or are taking, sorry, are taking. Okay, so here, that's in every pronoun before the verb, considered as subject, nominative. Okay, so here, that's in Ricardo and she. I can't say Ricardo and her know her. Why? Because they are subject before the verb. Before the verb. So Ricardo and she are taking the advanced placement test. Okay. Second example here the guide handed. Okay. So here that's in the guide handed the questionnaire to mom and me. To mom and me. Mr. Okay, why he didn't say mom and she? Of course, of course, because who did the action? Where is the verb here in the sentence? Again, where is the verb? Handed. Yes, the verb is here. Is the verb here is handed? Just a minute. Here is the verb, and here is the verb. Okay. Here is the verb. So who? does the verb who did the verb who handed the guide so here this in this guide is the subject the guide is subject okay here is subject okay so handed handed to whom to mom exactly yes so mom here is object and me as well object so here that's in mom and me we are object that's all so here and of course handed is the verb okay so here in this example that's in the guide handed the questionnaire to mom and me okay i think that's now it's a half piece of cake so the first one, Ricardo and she, of course, because both of them are the subject, 
So we have to use she, not her. Okay, here we have now that subject. Okay, and our taken is in the verb, the advanced and placement test. Placement test is an object. Okay, I try to do or, or follow this rule because to understand how to get the object and the subject, okay, by the verb. So number one, you have to look for the verb. You have to look for the verb. Then you have, or you can determine where is the subject or nominative and where is the object, okay? So the third example now, the third example now, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So here, this is the last example. The person we are here. Okay. The person at the door was he. The person at the door was he. Mister. Okay. How this? The person at the door was he or was him? Please try to read this rule in formal writing. You have to know. Informal writing, okay? So after form of the verb be, after the verb to be, use the nominative. Use what? Nominative, okay? So here, that's a you have to know. That's an informal writing. That's informal writing, okay? After form of Lincoln verb, okay? After the form of Lincoln verb, what, what we shall do? Okay, that's use the nominative case. Use the nominative case. So here. <clears throat> what does mean nominative case? After verb to be, he, she, it, we, you, they. Focus, focus. He said here, that's in people. Often use objective, exactly as you said now. Exactly as you said. Okay, just a minute. People often use objective. That mean you can say, or in the language of the street, the people say the person at the door was him. The person at the door was him. This is the informal, informal, the language of street. However, in formal writing and speaking. However, in formal writing and speaking, also in speaking here. Okay, so use the objective, but the correct grammatically, correct grammatically in the formal writing, formal writing, you have follow the verb to be with the nominative case, with the nominative case. So here, as he said, the person at the door was he, yes. Again, you have, you can ask who is the person? The person is object or subject. The person at the door. Okay. If we if we remove, if we omit or remove, was he? And I told you that the person at the door. The person at the door was. Okay, this this person, the word person here, this person is object or subject? Subject. So what the pronoun that refers to the subject? Him or he? The pronoun refers to the subject. Of course, he. The other example here that in the best the player is I. Mister, how strange. How strange I said that the best player is I. How? Of course, I here is refers to the best player. The best player here is a subject. So the pronoun that refers to the subject is I. I know that's strange for you. I know this, but it's in formal. That's formal writing. Formal writing. So here, the best player is I. I know that's that's in strange or odd for you, of course. But in here, in the formal writing, the best player is I because I refers to the subject. The pronoun refers to the subject is I. The best player is I, or or is he or is she. Anything. The most important, you have to use what? Nominative case. You have to use he, he she, it, anything, any pronoun must be nominative case. Okay. 
I think now the lesson was clear. Okay, so let's try to answer some questions. Okay, and the last example here, the scene, his playing is getting better. Of course, playing now is verb or noun? Playing, playing. When I tell you that in reading is for for everyone, reading. Today we have reading lesson, reading lesson. That's in or uh, or uh, speaking lesson, speaking session. So here, this in speaking and reading are verbs or noun. Of course, noun. Of course, noun. Playing is getting better. So here, this in his playing. So playing here is verb, sorry, is noun, is noun, okay? Why noun, mister? Because playing now is a noun, I'm talking about what he's playing on general, okay? There is a rule, there is a rule called, that's in when you start with a verb and add ing, when you play, when you start with a verb and you add ing to the verb at the beginning of the sentence, this verb turn it into a noun because the gerund because ing so read the word read read now is a verb exactly so once you add ing to the to the word read at the beginning of the sentence it turns into noun so reading is useful for our minds of course this so reading now is a noun not verb so his playing is getting better so his playing, playing now is noun. His playing, so noun here, listen, his playing is getting better. And the camel is theirs, listen, possessive, of course. Theirs is possessive. Okay, so here, let's start to answer the first three uh, examples. So here, that's in the first one, that's in if you, if your tent is leaking, if your tent is leaking, you can sleep in hours. Hours, there is no apostrophe in English. There is no apostrophe in hours, okay? So here, because it's called hour is, of course, not, not uh, making sense, doesn't make sense. Okay, so number one here, that's in Lena and, as in this example, huh, Ricardo and she, exactly. So here, this in Lena and she. Why I used she? Why I used she? Of course, because before the verb. Before the verb. Again, try to remember. Now we have the subject plus verb plus object. Okay, so here, every pronoun before the verb. Every pronoun before the verb is subject. So Lena and she. Okay. Number two, that's in Bill's parent. Bill's parent are quite pleased about him or his attending summer school. Try to focus on the word attending. Of course, yes. You can tell me that's in Mr. I know that's in about him, yeah, okay, they are quite pleased about him, but about him attending, him attending, of course, doesn't make sense. If the sentence is stopped at, the, at the, the brackets, after the brackets, the full stop, about him, yes, that's nice, that's right, about him, but he complete, he added attending summer, attending now, not verb, is a noun, okay, not verb, is a noun. Of course, you know that the verb must has am um, is are or the verb ing. Am um, is are plus the verb ing. Am um, is are again plus the verb ing. This is a verb. Without without am um, is are. The the noun ing is a noun. The word ing is a noun. Okay, so here the same without am um, is are. Now in the sentence, we don't have am is are. We don't have verb to be. 
So it's a noun. Attending is noun. So here, listen, the Dulles parents are quite pleased about his attending summer school. Okay. Why is, why has? Because we don't have M um, is R. Okay. Because attending is noun, not verb. Attending is noun, not verb. Okay. Please, you have to focus. Attending is noun. So, him attending or his attending? His attending. Okay, you have to know this in the verb. Um, is or plus verb ing. Here is the verb. So if you want put attending in a verb, so he is attending. He is attending. Okay, that's here. He is attending. Okay, so on the other side, the word attending itself, attending is noun. Okay, without M is R, without M is R, it's gonna be noun. So attending here is a noun. The verb of attending is called is attending, not just attending. Okay, so here. His attending. Okay. So the next one. Okay, so number three, address your complaints. Address your complaints to Mr. Bowles and address your complaints to Mr. Bowles and they or them to Mr. Bowles, address your complaints. I told you, I called you, address your complaints to, to whom, to Mr. Bowles and them, and them. Okay. The last one that's in loop believes that the pile of trash is theirs. There is no apostrophe. There is here no apostrophe. Okay, I think that's an, this lesson is an easy, and needs um, focus, needs the uh, concentrations. Of course, try to study well the examples above, and then you can answer each question you need. Thank you so much. Bye bye.